we've spoken about the, 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 that is the, the all the diseases we've talked to uh, talked to you about this morning so far have been uh, fungi. Uh, there are other uh, problems of in garlic, uh, mainly uh, viruses and nematodes. So I'll briefly discuss viruses and nematodes. Uh, Willem was telling me that uh, in Ontario, uh, viruses are extremely important. Uh, problem uh, in the un uh, garlic industry in, in Ontario. Uh, almost 100% of the garlic uh, te uh, surveyed had, uh, the fields had uh, high levels of virus in the, in the, in the plants. We don't, have any, we, we don't have any survey results here for, for Nova Scotia. There are, the main complex is one called garlic mosaic complex. They're all spread by aphids, but also they're all spread by uh, infected planting stock. So you can buy your viruses with your planting stock just as you can buy white rot. So the, the garlic mosaic complex is made up of garlic yellow streak, uh, leek yellow stripe, garlic yellow stripe, onion yellow dwarf. And I have a few pictures of that on onion. I don't have any pictures of, of, the, of the viruses on, on garlic, unfortunately. Uh, viruses reduce yields. Uh, and they cause uh, leaf mosaics, yellowing, chlorotic conditions of the foliage, and streaking. As I mentioned, it reduces yield and reduces bulb size. So management of viruses is basically uh, uh, use clean planting stock, uh, rogue infected plants when you see them, and aphid control. So this is uh, on onion. Uh, this is uh, the uh, mosaic appearance and chlorosis of, of onion with uh, garlic mosaic virus and the distortion that you get of the foliage with onion yellow dwarf virus. The last uh, condition we're going to talk about is uh, the bulb and stem nematode. Uh, I have personally not seen it here, but it is a very, in Ontario, it's a very important uh, 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 disease uh, f for Ontario growers, so that's why I put it in here. It attacks onion and garlic, but also attacks chives, leek, and pea. And the symptoms basically are the seedling bases uh, become swollen, leaves become twisted and, and uh, uh, malformed, just like the, the virus uh, one I, I showed you in the previous slide. These nematodes, again, they can uh, live in the soil, but they also come in, can come in on your, if you're buying uh, bulbs, it, uh, they're in the uh, bulb tissue and in the, uh, the old dried up foliage of the, of the garlic. So that's how you can introduce them with your planting stock very easily. Uh, management is rotation for three years and, and again, use of clean planting stock. Causes uh, uh, distortion of the leaves. Uh, here, but also if, if the infections take place early, then you get a bulb rot. You see here in both these. So it causes a severe bulb rot. And the key thing to remember is, is it does, does cause a, a severe distortion of the, of the foliage. So I think that's, uh, that's my presentation for this morning. Uh,